many families eat out that it's more and more important that we learn to cook at home. And mm -hmm. I know at high schools, they even quit teaching home ec and they're starting to teach home ec again. And kids are starting to learn. And um, I, I know I'm not a big cook. I'm really not a big cook, mm -hmm. but I make smoothies and things like that. So there's a lot of healthy things we can make at home. And if we do need a recipe, there's a lot of books that are made. They're designed um, just for kids and um, for them to get ideas. So this is a book. I'm going to show this to you. This is called Cool Stuff for Kids. And um, that book actually has all kinds of things. It has like party favors and teaches you how to make a, a mouse um, a mouse pad, which I think is pretty cool. So, but it also has recipes in it. So does that look pretty interesting to you? Yeah, this is cool. Okay. Well, you can come to our library and look for it mm -hmm. sometime. Yeah. So I'm going to put that on display right now. Uh -huh. And. This one is called Cooking for Kids Winning Recipes. And this is just recipes. Mm -hmm. So I want to suggest when you go to your school library next time, you look in the 641. Do you see that number right there? Yeah. 641.2. That is the Dewey Decimal number for cookbooks. And no matter what library you go in, that's where you'll find their cookbooks. So if you go to the public library, you'll find their cookbooks there. Or if you go to the school library, you're going to find the cookbooks there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is a wonderful book. And before we started, I was telling Gwynnie that um, when I was a little kid, I had a favorite cookbook. And I would go to that cookbook and I would look at the pictures. And um, I was just, I, I, I wore that book out looking at the pictures. And I would talk to people and say, my mom's going to make me that for my birthday. And I always wanted her to make those recipes. And you know what? I don't think th any of those recipes were ever made. But I still love looking at the pictures. Mm -hmm. And right here, we have a grilled cheese sandwich made in a waffle iron or something. Mm -hmm. Don't you think a kid yeah. could do that? Yeah. And it's surprising how many cookbooks are made for kids. So I'm going to put this one here. And uh, I'm not just saying this one, but um, there's so many made for kids. Now this one's called the Colonial Cookbook. And so this will actually tell people recipes from colonial times. So mm -hmm. sometimes teachers come to our library and um, check out books. Would you think it'd be fun to eat like a pioneer girl? Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you think so? Yeah. I don't I bet the biscuits were kind of crunchy. I don't know. They didn't have microwaves back then. I know that. So besides um, historical cookbooks, this one, there's a lot of ethnic cookbooks. Do you like a certain kind of food when you go out to eat? Um, well, yeah, I like Mexican food a lot. Like Mexican. Yeah. I love Mexican. I love guacamole. So I just happen to have a book from Mexico, but you know what? In our library, we have Italian food, we have food from the Philippines, all over the place. So you can get a lot of recipes that way. So if you want to start cooking at home, here are some ideas. Food, the settlers. So colonial times is actually older than the settlers, I think. Look at that. What do you think? Oh, that's cool. That one's cheese what somebody enough cheese to please oh I wonder what that is they're getting some great pictures of that on television so I guess they ate cheese back then huh you know they didn't even have refrigerators can you imagine no what would it be like to cook and, and not have a refrigerator well Winnie and I talked about this show before it started and mm -hmm. we decided what um what we really want to kind of focus on are one of the really popular things right now, and those are? Cupcakes. Cupcakes. And actually, there's a lot of books out on cupcakes. And um, you can make cupcakes. Like, I know what you're going to say. You think those are purses, right? I don't know which camera I'm holding that up to. They're all green. Oh, there it is, Carl's. Thanks, Carl. So anyway, so these are actually all cupcakes. Look at those shoes, made out of cupcakes. Look at those sheep, made out of cupcakes. 
So it's amazing. Did I tell you that a former student of mine actually owns a cupcake store in town? Yes. Yeah. And we're not allowed to advertise, so I can't tell you the name of the store, but mm -hmm. um, it's pretty amazing. Everybody's into cupcakes now. Yeah. You cupcakes like them? Cupcakes are good. Yeah, I love cupcakes. Yeah. Have you ever made one in, into a shape before? I tried doing it for my birthday party, but it didn't work. You did? Okay, well, we're yeah. going to try it today. I'm going to move these books, even though I don't want to. I'm going to move these. I, I kind of want to leave one on display. I wonder if, if it, if, I wonder if it'd be in the way. If it gets in the way, Carl will tell me. And um, I think I'll put this one up for now. And, but um, we're going to start, before, with, before the dessert, we're going to start with uh -huh. the main meal, yeah, right? Entree. And we're going to show people how easy it is for kids to cook. And you could actually be cooking for your mom and dad. Mm -hmm. Do you think your mom would like a break? Yeah. Okay. And um, we'll surprise them with this recipe. So the first thing we want kids to always do before they cook is... is wash their hands. Wash their hands. So Gwenny and I did wash our hands, but we also have some gloves. Uh-huh. Uh, they're, they're not open. I thought they were. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to open the gloves, Gwenny. Oh, good. They opened easily. I didn't have to use my teeth. Okay. I'm glad because um. that's not a good example. So, Gwenny, if, if we um, don't have gloves at home and, and we just merely wash our hands, we're doing both. Uh -huh. But do you know how long you're supposed to wash your hands? Well, um, in preschool, I learned that you're supposed to, like, scrub your hands with soap for as long as you can, like, sing the ABCs. Okay. So... You just rub your hands with soap as long as the ABCs are. I wonder uh -huh. how long that is. What if you sing them real fast? A, B, C, D, E, F, G? Well, um, I mean, the rule is you have to sing it kind uh, of like yeah, the right not pace. too fast. Yeah. Okay, so we got our gloves on, and we are going to start with the entree, and you will have to stay tuned to see our cupcake. Let's okay. make two desserts. How about that? Okay. We'll make two desserts and one entree. So... We have our cutting board. It kind of mm -hmm. rolls up a little, so you're going to have to excuse that. And then this, do you like sandwiches, Gwenny? I like sandwiches, okay. yeah. You do? Do yeah. you like a certain bread, like whole wheat or? Um, no, I like a lot of bread, so. Like a lot of bread? I like bread. You do? Well, this, these are called wraps. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to start by um, showing you how to make a wrap. And wraps are just as easy as um, burritos. Probably as burritos. Mm -hmm. Probably easier than a sandwich. And they have less carbs, for those of us that are worried about our carbs, than bread and less calories. And there's a lot of different brands. This is a whole wheat one, but they make them out of spinach. They make them all white. So there. And then we're going to take something to soften it and I would say you know what oh good this is opening for me I forgot to have somebody open this for me I can't open jars sometimes so you could use mustard or salad dressing if you don't have mayonnaise at home or if you don't like mayonnaise mm -hmm. or you could use avocado smashed up avocado that's what I would use but this is what I'm going to use I'm going to use man I'm going to put it back here because we're not supposed to advertise again and I'm just sort of smearing this all over. Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't this look easy? Yeah. Okay, very easy. Now, what do you think we'd put on top of that? Um, I don't know, maybe lettuce. Okay, good idea, lettuce. I like that idea. See, you're a natural cook. So we're gonna do lettuce. Do you wanna take a knife? Cause you're gonna be making one too. Sure. Okay. And um, you always wash your lettuce first. And you know what? Uh, so. <laughs> uh, oh, good. So here it is. Here's our all washed lettuce. Okay. And we're going to put some lettuce on. Do you want to help me, honey? Get sure. some lettuce and put it on there. So there's our lettuce. And, um, of course, you, you could put uh, spinach on. You could put... If you're brave, kale. Mm -hmm. I don't know about kale. 
Do you like kale? Have you ever had it? My mom makes a really good kale salad. Oh, your mom does? Yeah. Maybe your mom will come on and teach me how to make a kale salad. But anyway, um, there's other greens you can use. I would put sprouts if I were at home, probably, because I really like sprouts. So now, what do you think we could put on top of that? Avocado. Oh, what a good idea. And we have an avocado here. Okay. <laughs> Not everybody likes avocado, but I'm glad you do. Where's our sharp knife going? Do you know? Um, oh, good. Thank yeah. goodness for your dad. He got all those knives for us. Now, I know some people find avocados a little tricky, but I just cut them in half, and then I slice them right in here, mm -hmm. and then with the spoon, I usually just cut them out, but you know what? You can just do it with a knife. So we've got avocado. Mm -hmm. Can you think of anything else we could put on our wrap? Um... I mean, I'm How sure. How about some, do you like tomato? I didn't bring tomato because um, I didn't know if you liked it, but if I were at home, I'd put onion on it for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe tomato, definitely sprouts. And some people are vegetarian. I didn't ask you if you were a vegetarian, are I'm you? Not, no. Oh, good. Okay, so we're gonna open this up. This is um, pre-cooked chicken. And you wanna just tear some chicken up and put it on there? Just in small, kind of shred it. Good job. Do you see how easy that is? Mm -hmm. Do you think you could do that for your mom for Mother's Day or Valentine's Day? Could yeah. you do that at a party? Yeah. You know what? That is so easy. And when you taste this, it's just like, it's just like you spent a whole lot of money on it at a restaurant. So um, this is what we're going to do now. I'm watching the clock, and time's going by awfully fast. Okay, so do you want to roll that for me? You said you know how to roll a burrito, right? Uh -huh. Just go for it. Okay. Um, how would you roll a burrito? So sides in, side, right? Side, yeah. Sides in, then what? And then fold it up. Got it. it like just keep rolling. And then I just happen to have that a toothpick because. Because it kind of, so, so see, it looks like a, it looks like a burrito, right? Yeah. Ta-da. Now, you know why I put two on there? So it stays I'm going to cut it right down the middle. Because a lot of people eat wraps. Uh-oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Okay. <laughs> None of that was supposed to happen, but, but. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to tighten that up. Squish that in. Dab it again, and there is our wrap. How easy is that? Well, and you put whatever easy. vegetable you want. And I was hoping that we could make a couple mm -hmm. and put it on this plate. Okay. So why don't I give you this plate? Mm -hmm. Put that out. And if you're going to be serving people, you can get fancy toothpicks. I'm going to aim it that way. Maybe that camera will end up getting it. Okay. And I'm going to fix this. <laughs> can I fix this? Do you want to make another wrap before we move on? Sure. Could you do that? Mm -hmm. Here's take a wrap. Okay. Start with a wrap. And um, wait, don't put it on the tablecloth. <laughs> do you have, you have a cutting board or something at home? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to slap <laughs> this together that and this is a very different looking wrap <laughs> this one looks like a <laughs> i don't know what airplane or something so there's a wrap you know what the food's in it <laughs> i can't clean that off okay and put that on uh -huh. and let's put a little bit of mayonnaise on you know without showing the label because we're trying not to advertise got that mm -hmm. That's probably good enough. Yeah. And then throw a little bit of lettuce on. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people would put cheese on this too, by the way. Then here, why don't you put some of this avocado, <laughs> avocado on that I found here in the box. Here's in the <laughs> piece. I'm sorry, I'll okay. eat that one. You don't have to eat that one. And it's all clean. And then put a little bit, just chicken. throw a little bit of chicken on. You don't have okay. to put a ton. Just a little bit. Do you think this is kind of healthy? 
Probably, yeah. yeah, it's probably more healthy than like I think this would be awesome if you did this for your parents. And then when you roll it, you can roll it different ways. Winnie and I are rolling it this way and this way. And then we're going to re-roll it really tight, right? Kind of like a, like that. Yeah. And I think we put a lot of stuff in. And so this time, instead of cutting it, we're going to put our toothpick in. You really need something to hold them together. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to do like a tea or something like that, you could, um, let's hide that, our airplane one. How's that? Yeah. If, if you are going to have a tea or something, they have fancy toothpicks. Have you ever seen those that yeah. have all that fancy stuff on it? Okay. So I'm going to move this stuff, and we get to decorate our cupcakes. cupcakes. But I do want to suggest this. If you are making these at home, presentation is nice. And you could kind of have them come out like a star. Or between them, you could have sliced tomatoes or oranges mm -hmm. or some fruit mm -hmm. to make it a more complete meal. OK? So okay. do you want me to move all this stuff? Sure. And then we'll just put this right on top. Okay. All right. So Gwynny and I. Um, both of us like cupcakes. Okay, I love cupcakes. And these cupcake books are hysterical and so funny, and you'd just be amazed at the things you can make. So, Gwynny, can you, um, let's, let's take, I'm going to just take this. Oh, you don't have to take it off, honey. I'm just going to move this. And I'm going to put this up that your dad put together for us. Okay. And... We're going to take those cupcakes over there that are blank, and we are going to decorate them. Mm -hmm. Got it? OK. Do you think we need this cutting board? It's kind of messy, isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to put this on this table right here. Should I open this frosting? That's a good table. All right. So um, we first you need a cupcake. Could you give me one, honey? So we each have a cupcake. And what are we going to turn these into? Um, dogs. Or turn them into dogs. Yeah. So does that look like a dog to you? No. No, it doesn't look like a dog to me either. So the first thing we're going to do is take, you know what, for the nose? What do you think? Um, marshmallow. Marshmallows. So we're going to take marshmallows. And you take a marshmallow. Okay. I'll take a marshmallow. And we are going to cut that marshmallow in half. So you know what I'm going to do just for the heck of it? This is our new cutting board. Can I give you that for cutting board so we're not cutting right on the, is that OK? Yeah. So go ahead and cut the marshmallow in half. OK. And maybe put that aside. OK. okay? And now we have two different colors of um, icing. Yeah, but let's let's do this one just okay. for time's sake, okay? Because um, we don't have tons of time, actually, kiddos. So we're gonna take our knives. Do you have a knife, a clean knife? Do you want a clean knife, or do you want um, mayonnaise on it? Um, this is fine, I guess. Here's a clean knife. Okay. So go ahead and um, ice your cupcake. No. Okay. You want me to do it first? Um, sure. Are you good? <laughs> so we're gonna. You can buy pre-made icing that most books give you give you recipes. So, but I didn't think we'd have enough time. So go ahead and cover it. I didn't completely cover mine. I cover. And put as much on it as you want. Okay, and now put your marshmallow on, and that that will should serve as kind of a glue. Okay, stick it on. And can I have the other half if you don't mind? Thanks. All right, and that's sort of the glue. And now, if it doesn't stick, actually it might stick into the glove more than it's sticking to the cup, to the cupcake. <laughs> All right. How did you get <laughs> Oh, 
I got the wrong side up, maybe. All right, I'll flip him around. Maybe that's what the pro <laughs> problem is. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never gotten the gillies <laughs> before, but I've never had anything like that happen. So now we're gonna ice the nose. Can we get all that icing <laughs> on there? <laughs> okay. okay. Wendy, go ahead and ice it. I'm gonna <laughs> be over here. I'm gonna use my toothpick to ice it. Sometimes you have to improvise. But I promise you, these will look like puppies by the time we're through. Well, they should. You might have to use a whole lot of imagination. I'm sorry, I don't usually laugh on my shows. This is serious business. Is it gonna taste just as good if, ooh, even if it doesn't look exactly like the picture? It'll probably picture. taste just Notice as good. I'm not showing you the picture in the book. I have a hard time working with the gloss. All right. Okay. So, um, so we got you, you got yours done. Yeah. Okay. Now, what are we gonna do for ears? Do you remember that part? Um. Yeah. We're gonna use the cookies. Okay. I'm putting more on mine. So we're kind of hiding that marshmallow. Can you see my marshmallow? Can you tell it's marshmallow? Um. Kind of. Yeah. You kind of can, can't you? Okay. So let's get all of that hidden. You know what, Whitney, you will never believe what I'm going to tell you. Okay. We're supposed to make parfaits, all this stuff mm -hmm. we're supposed to be doing, and we are down to like two minutes, but we're going to get this done. Okay. okay. So, for now, we're going to put these ears on, but we're going to show you how to do that. You just, these are called wafer cookies, and you really should... Can I go ahead and show this? Yeah. Do you want to get the jelly beans out so we can finish him off? Um, All he needs are eyes, really. Sure. They're in the... I think that's on your side. They are in... Just a minute. I got... Don't, you don't have to move, honey. Okay. Are they in, They're in the back bag, right? Mm-hmm. What do you think? Does that look like a... Hold that for the camera. Just a minute. And they were in, weren't they in the, the bag? Yeah, the cloth bag. In the, the cloth bag? Yeah. Winnie, you're amazing. You just got everything down. You wanna, can you open that and get out two jelly beans? And I'm gonna, um, because this is just insane that our show's almost over. How can that be? We have two more recipes planned, right? Okay, so. Oops. This is oh, okay. our dog. Cupcake. Does that look like a dog to you? Yeah. Pretty yeah. good? Yeah. We could cover it more with, uh, oh, you know what? Because the icing is so dark, it might not be showing. So there are his little nostrils, right? How about his eyes? Oh, we got a little flashlight out there. And you can make so many animals. What, if we use pink icing, what do you think he'd look like? A pig. Oh, somebody's got the back of him. Wolf. There's the front of him. That's a that's a brown chihuahua. That's what that's supposed to be, a chihuahua. Yeah. But in that book I showed you, um, there, there are all kinds of dogs you can make, you know? And if, can you imagine if somebody got a new dog? It'd be fun to have a puppy party and maybe make. So let's make a cupcake for you. Okay. Just um, grab a cupcake. Let's get some more icing on it. Actually, you know what, Gwenny? You are never gonna believe I'm gonna tell you. We're, right, we're, we're wrapping things up. I don't know how that happened. Their clocks must be broken. But let's put our one, let's put our little doggy there. That's our one finished cupcake. Gwenny and I had planned on filling up that whole thing. <laughs> we'll do it after the cameras quit rolling. Did you have fun? Yes, it's Okay. Fun. Yeah, excited to eat that thing? Yeah. It'll be good. Yeah, It'll be real good. good. So we want to thank you for joining us. Tune in again for the Just Keen Around show. And thank you, Gwynny. You did a great okay. job. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready to eat some wraps and fall out with a cupcake. Bye. 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 Join us again sometime.
started laughing on a show. Oh, gosh.